I've been trend training for a decade now. Here are some mistakes you would want to avoid as a beginner. Also, stay till the end. I've got a bonus for you. Let's go. All right. The first and the most important thing is self-educating on nutrition. Nutrition plays such a huge part in your fitness, in your result, in your overall well-being, in your happiness, in your mood, in your emotions, in your biology. It's just really worth investing your time in learning about the correct nutrition. When I say the correct nutrition, right, you go on Google, you type in a question such as what foods to avoid and then it comes up with don't eat celery don't eat tomato don't eat bread eggs have too many calories don't do this don't drink water and it's like no wonder the, the information out there is so crap and people get so confused and so overwhelmed so when you look for something online make sure it's from a credible website such as something that ends in .org or .info or .gov make sure it's written by like a medical professional somebody with some sort of certification because any tom dick and harry can write anything online and also just because somebody is an influencer does not mean they are certified and qualified and have the experience to talk about that uh, that topic Number two is don't skip the warm up. This is something I wish I learned 10 years ago. Warm up can seen as something that's just, you know, if you have extra time, then you can do it. It's like a little cherry on the cake. It's really not. Warm up is like a really good foundation. It prepares your body. You can get into really good, good. You can get into really good range of movement. It just feels overall when you've done a warm up and then you do a, have a workout, it just feels really good. Even if you're doing a 20 minute warm up, I would still recommend you do a five minute warm up. I have some videos or warm-ups i can link them down there for you do your warm-up so the third fitness mistake i want you guys to avoid is thinking that lifting really heavy weights really really fast is going to get you to your results really really quickly it doesn't work like that i work in a gym I've, I've been doing fitness for ages and the amount of times that i see people lifting really stupid weights and the form is off and they're doing the chicken neck and they're grunting and it's just really really bad it just tells me they haven't taken the time to build a proper foundation of learning to do that exercise properly understanding that it's not the heavier weights that's going to get you to your goal so for example if your goal is to lift heavy yes you want heavy workouts but you also want lighter work workouts with controlled movement and maybe more reps so every single workout that you have should not be like above 80 90 percent unless obviously you're training for powerlifting or something but for the general population you want to get some uh, hypertrophy in there so 12 to 15 reps you want to get some uh, kind of endurance in there so 15 to 25 reps you want to get some strength in there which is three to five reps but really really heavy weight i can do another video on kind of reps for different goals but lifting really heavy weights really really fast is not going to get you to your goals quicker i'm sorry to burst your bubble number four is not spending enough time on perfecting your form and your technique i wish i spent at least six months on learning the basics the basics as in like protecting your spine reserving energy uh engaging your core having soft knees keeping your shoulders up back and down little little things like that little golden nuggets that are really going to serve you for the rest of your kind of lifting life it's things like like, you know when you're standing and you're sitting down to do a movement just do a quick body scan and be like okay feet knees hips core back is everything in alignment okay perfect now i can do the movement i will do a video on a body scan on how to do a body scan so that you always get the right form and technique last one this is a really really important one is not tracking your workouts get yourself a, a diary it can be on your phone it can be on a notepad and book notepad and pen diary write down what weights you're doing what exercise you're doing the reps the weight the rest period the rpe which is basically how hard it was um any notes and then when you do those exercises again next week you can be like okay so last week this exercise was easy so this week i can increase it last week this particular exercise was really hard so this time i'm going to try and do that and see if it feels a little bit easier and this is how you can track your workouts and see if you're making progress if you're gaining strength if you're kind of you know what adjustments need to be made you can also track you if you like a particular movement if you didn't like a particular movement it's just easier when you have the data it's so much easier to just be like okay this is working this is not working if you don't have the data it's very difficult and you're kind of just going into the gym and just winging it and just you know maybe lifting heavier than you should or maybe not lifting heavy enough so lifting or <laughs> scheduling and like writing down <laughs> so tracking your workouts are really really important if you've stayed to the end, if you've stayed till the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys for sticking around for like six minutes. That's a long time. 
to show my appreciation, I would love for you guys to go over to my website, which is www.geofit.com and fill out an inquiry card. Let me know what you're struggling with and I will get back to you. Let's hop on a Zoom call. Let's discuss what you're discussing. Let's discuss what your problems are and come up with solutions together so that you can finally hit past them and, you know, get the body, the stronger body that you've always wanted. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the warm-up video below. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.